How do you overcome insecurity in a relationship when it feels like things aren't safe? You're not sure if you're wanted. You're not sure if you're loved. You're feeling like maybe your partner doesn't care about you anymore. Maybe it's over. You're not really sure what to do about it. Maybe it feels like there's a lack of trust. And so even when your partner tries to show that they care, you don't really sense it. You feel like you're not getting what you need. So no matter what they say, no matter what they try to do for you, you feel jealous or you feel not wanted or you feel not good enough in a relationship. Have you ever felt insecure? The first thing that I recommend to help build yourself back up is create a list. And this list is gonna look like climbing the staircase again. Do a list. What's, what are all the things that you do for the relationship? How are you really great for this other person? Maybe you are supportive with your words. Maybe you give them a lot of touch. Maybe you cook them dinner. Maybe you make them laugh. There's so many ways that you probably have a positive contribution to the relationship. So I want you to write that down and really, really think about it, right? So imagine now, instead of feeling insecure and distrustful, like you're not really sure if this relationship is good, if they like you, if you're good enough for them, if you're doing enough for them. Now, instead, you have this list of all the ways that you're really amazing, that you're really supportive that you help them out with their goals, their dreams, that you support them as a person, that you help them feel loved, that you help them feel wanted. Imagine now, wouldn't that be great to actually feel good about yourself and who you are as a person? Because when you feel good about yourself and what you're doing in a relationship and who you are as a person, you're gonna carry that into the relationship, right? Because half of our insecurity is our own feeling. It comes from inside of us. So if you can look at and honor all the ways that you are beautiful and wonderful and amazing and a good contributor to the relationship, that's going to make all the difference because now you can show up in the partnership and when they do things back or they tell you that they care or they tell you how amazing you are or even if they're saying your love language, not really in the same way that you'd like to hear your love language, you can now hear it. You can now feel it. You can now observe it. You can witness their care back for you. So imagine now, instead of having that insecurity, you have that confidence. You have that strength. And not only then will you do things more powerfully for your partner because you're coming from a place of power and strength and love instead of a feeling of weakness and fear and insecurity, they'll be able to feel it more too. They'll be able to honor everything that you're doing for them, everything that you are, everything that you bring to the relationship. Maybe now you've made your list and you're still not feeling secure. Start looking back at yourself. What did you learn in childhood? Where was your security in childhood? Perhaps you didn't have a very secure childhood. Maybe you have a history where people left you. People didn't take care of you. You often felt unloved. Maybe you've had a history of relationships where that insecurity was actually your gut knowing that the relationship wasn't quite right anymore. And you were actually projecting outwards and you wanted them to want you. So now you're feeling insecure because you don't know if they want you anymore, but you're really not really wanting them either. <laughs> so instead of climbing the stairs to a healthier relationship, you're standing here going like, why don't they want me? And now we're getting lower and lower and lower. We're not really honoring who we are and what we want to bring. And we're really the kind of relationship that we want in the first place. Comment below if you've ever had an unhealthy relationship. Most of us have, right? So this is the time that we learn, that we grow, that we become better people. And now the next step is I want you to actually look at, is this relationship actually healthy for you? Sometimes we're insecure in a relationship because we're not actually being treated well. 
we know that there's infidelity. We know our partner's doing something. Our wife, our husband, our significant other, our relationship is doing something that doesn't honor us and doesn't value us, that doesn't make us feel loved, that doesn't make us feel important, and that we're not getting the queen or the king treatment that we dang well deserve. And our insecurity comes from the feeling like, of, or the feeling, not even the feeling, but the observation that they're not really doing for us what we need done for us. They're not honoring who we are. And we start feeling insecure. Like maybe they don't love me. Well, you know what? Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Maybe they can't show you in the way that you need to be shown. And that's okay. It's okay if the relationship ends. Because I guarantee you've learned something more about what you want in a partner. How you want them to treat you. And how you want to be treated. And how you want to come forward for yourself as a strong, loving partner. So if your primary way of showing love is touch and they can't feel that, you get two choices. You either get to learn how to communicate with the way they wanna be felt and loved, and you get to communicate with them with how you wanna be felt and loved, and both of you get to do that for each other. And if you can't, maybe it's not the right relationship. So imagine now that you realize that the relationship is unhealthy and you leave and you find a better relationship, one that you can work towards something, that you can go up the stairs of positivity. Or you realize that you're both trying really hard. Or maybe not as hard as you could be. Maybe you've fallen into a pattern, a rhythm. But now you get to step it up. You get to realize this is a good relationship for me. This is what I want out of a partner. And you get to bring the knowledge of all the things that you're doing and then write down all the positive things that they're doing and acknowledge that. Have gratitude for that, for each little thing they do for you, for each little thing that you're doing for them. Feel that energy in your body, in your mind, and bring that forward into your relationship. Bring that love, that synergy, that potential, that possibility, that playfulness, that thank you for doing the dishes. Thank you for picking up the clothes. Thank you for just listening to me yesterday or putting a hand on my back when I was stressed, even though I was pissed off and I couldn't really talk to you. Thank you for actually acknowledging that I was pissed off and just letting me be for a minute, right? Like all these little things are really important. I also encourage you to journal. What do you need to feel secure? Communicate that to your partner. See if they can even do that for you. Not only do they have the capacity, but are they willing? There's no need to feel insecure in your relationship. I mean, don't get me wrong. We all go through moments of insecurity. Everybody does. Of jealousy or of wondering or of curiosity. But observe it. Let it pass. Take action. Acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge your others. Decide whether the relationship is right for you or not. Don't sit there and feel insecure for a long time. It's not healthy. And do the best you can. So remember to comment below, what are some positive ways that you've been able to revitalize your relationship or beat insecurity in the past? My name is Dawn Bennett. I'm a traveling nomad with Touch Remedies, and I'm helping you clear the emotional baggage out of your relationships so you can have more powerful, more vibrant relationships with yourself with others and people in your community. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Here comes the wind again. Ah, I'm gonna have a whole series of like, here are my winds waiting for winds because I'm outside all the time. Oh, the life of a nomad. So rough, the wind.